Good morning guys, Teacher A here and welcome to Guru Pinay sa America. So for today, ang lesson natin ay Geometric Series. Wherein, kapag sinabing Geometric Series, hinahanap natin yung sum ng terms sa ating sequence. So to find yung sum, ito yung formula ang gagamitin natin. So S sub N is equal to A sub 1 times R raised to N minus 1 over R minus 1. Wherein si S sub N, yun yung sum ng N na terms. Si A sub 1 yung first term. Si R yung common ratio. At si N ang ating N terms. Let's have example number 1. Paano ba natin niya apply itong formula na ito? So we have here, find the sum of the first 8 terms. In this given sequence, we have 1, 3, 9, 27. So, step 1. Kailangan ma-identify natin yung given. Sabihin kung ano yung kailangan natin dito sa ating formula. So, si N, ilang terms ba yung sinabi? Sabi, 8 terms. So, 8 si N. Next, si A sub 1. Sabihin, yung first term natin sa ating sequence, which is 1. And then, si R, yung common ratio. Ano ba yung number na kapag minultiply kay 3, 3 yung lalabas. Kapag minultiply si 3 sa number na yun, 9. Pag minultiply si 9 sa number na yun, ay 27. Shortcut, i-divide. So, we have 27 divided by 9. That will give us 3. 9 divided by 3. Again, that's 3. 3 divided by 1, that's 3. So, therefore, ang ating R, yung common ratio natin is 3. Okay? So, that is our first step. Second step, isulat natin yung formula para hindi tayo maliligaw. So, S sub N is equal to A sub 1 times R raised to N and then minus 1 over R minus 1. And then after that, i-plug in yung mga values. So, S sub, ano si N? 8. Which means, sum ng 8 na terms equals, si A sub 1 is 1 times, higit na ko lang to, there, si R natin ay 3, raised to N, ang N natin ay 8, and then minus 1, over si R natin ulit ay 3, minus 1. So, Sa pagsusolve dito, sa so nasa loob, syempre, yung exponent muna, i-evaluate natin. So, 1 times r to the 8, ibig sabihin, 3, ay r, sorry, 3 to the 8 means 3 times 3 times 3 na 8 times. So, walang beses natin i-multiply si 3. So, 3 to the 8 is equal to 6,561. And then, kopyahin yung minus 1. Over si 3 minus 1 ay 2. So, solving this, we have 1 times 6,561 minus 1 ay 6,560 divided by 2. Divide natin. Uh, 6,560 divided by 2 is 3,280. Multiplied by 1 is still 3,280. So, therefore... Ang sum ng first 8 terms ng given na sequence ay 3,280. Now, sa ibang book, makikita nyo na yung A sub 1 ay actually kasama doon sa nasa taas. So, magiging A sub 1 times parenthesis R to the N minus 1 and then all over R minus 1. So, paano ba yun? Yun na gawin natin sa ating example number 2. Okay, number two, find the sum of the first five terms given the sequence 2, 8, 32, and so on and so forth using the formula S sub N is equal to A sub 1 times R raised to the N minus 1 all over R minus 1. So first step, kunin natin yung mga given. Yung mga important na uh, quantities na kailangan natin sa ating formula. So, si N ay based dito sa ating problem, 5. 
Sabihin, yung five terms ang kukunin natin, yung sum nila. Next, yung ating a sub 1, yung first term sa so given i, 2. And then, ang ating r, which is common ratio, divide natin, 8 divided by 2. So, 8 divided by 2 is 4. 32 divided by 8 is also 4. So, ratio natin ay 4. Yan. That's our first step. Second step, isulat natin yung ating formula. Para hindi tayo maliyo mamaya. S sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1 all over r minus 1. So, after writing down the formula, i-plug in or i-substitute natin yung mga values. So, S sub n, we have S sub 5. So, meaning, sum ng 5 terms is equal to A sub 1 natin ay 2. Parenthesis, ang R natin ay 4. Raised to the n, which is 5. And then, minus 1 over... Si R ulit natin ay 4 minus 1. Then solve natin. First, evaluate yung may exponent. So we have 2. 4 to the 5th means 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 ay 1,024. And then minus 1 over 4 minus 1 ay 3. Solve natin yung nasa loob. 1,024. Minus 1, so kapiyan muna si 2, ay 1,023, then divided by 3. So, 2 times 1,023 ay 2,046, divided by 3. Therefore, ang sum ng first 5 terms ng given na sequence ay 682. Yan. So, ganyan lang siya kasimple. Actually, kadalasan naman dito medyo mahaba kasi maraming steps. But then, kapag finalo nyo yung formula, hindi kayo maliligaw. Okay? So, just follow the step-by-step -step procedure. Makukuha nyo yung inyong final answer. So, that's it. Kung nakatulong ang aking video sa inyong module, kindly give me a like para share it sa YouTube sa iba. And please, I am inviting you na mag-subscribe sa aking YTC Teacher A, Guru Pinay sa Amerika. And also, please like my FB page, same name. Teacher A, Guru Pinay sa Amerika. Para updated kayo sa mga latest videos na ginagawa ko. And pwede nyo akong i-PM ng mga topics nyo. And mag-send kayo ng mga pictures ng modules or activities na pwede natin gawa ng tutorial video. Okay? That's it for today. See you on my next video. Paalam!